YouTube, good morning. Close to afternoon here in South Africa on a Friday. Nice sunny day. Uh, welcome back, I'm Jan Moistup. And uh, welcome to all pipe smokers and friends and subscribers and YouTubers. I'm smoking in my Savinelli Wampo and uh, I've got um, where's my tobacco now I've got a a Wesley's tobacco uh, the Wesley's tobacco oh there it is it is a a golden flake a golden flake uh, Wesley says it is a medium strength tobacco which uh, which has got some orientals into for that little bit of more aroma and uh, to me there's a little bit of, of tongue bite in there um, he says ideal for outdoor smoking not much um, not much in it in terms of of taste but uh, i'll review it later properly I'm going to start today with a video series which I referred to I think yesterday or the day before that. On how to. How to smoke a pipe, how to begin smoking a pipe. Now I know there's a lot of how to's out there and there's a lot of, I've, I've touched on some of those subjects in previous videos but I thought I just want to make a nice series consecutive series of, of of everything related to how to begin and how to smoke a pipe maybe my son and his friends who is uh, they are on uh, on uh, university at you know maybe they would like to you know look at it and uh, and would like to learn so um, yeah so that's why I just thought of starting a series of how to how to smoke a pipe when we started back in the 70s, 80s, you know, we, we just picked up a pipe and started smoking it. So it's actually not really difficult. But seeing that we are in the 21st century, there, there is YouTube and, and Internet. You can ask questions. So, you know, why, why, not, why not present it to, to people? Um, we were too afraid to ask in the old days because you were, you were afraid you ask a stupid question. So you just pack and light and pack and like and, and, and through trial and error eventually you, uh, you, you got it right so um, f for us it's, it, it, it uh, comes naturally uh, in a certain sense you know it's like driving a car and changing gears uh, if someone asks you you know when do you change gears and how do you do it for someone who's, who's driven 30 years uh, you know it, you, you need to go sit down and think oh exactly what what do I do and when do I do it so um, I also just had to sit down you know preparing for this video and think uh, okay so let's start uh, how would I s explain to someone how to start smoking a pipe and I do get some questions uh, from time to time from people uh, at work or so who says uh, how did you start what what do you need to do so this uh, video would be the first one in a series of tobaccos and blends and packing your pipe and cake layering and all that. The first step obviously would be to buy and have a pipe. If you are lucky enough to have a, a father or a grandfather Sorry, I need to, to to interrupt myself because I've just heard a fish eagle, which is very, very rare and very nice. Um, but in any case, so if you if you're lucky to have a father or a grandfather, you might have already a pipe, which then is big bonus because the, one of the biggest problems of starting to smoke a pipe is that you don't want to spend too much money on something that you're not sure whether you would like it or not. And actually that's catch-22 20, because buying a cheap pipe you probably will not like it because a cheap pipe does not smoke, smoke nice. Um, it is hot uh, and, it, and it, it just not, it's not, you know, just not, uh, not nice. Um, 
my experience at least, all the tube pipes that I had was really not, uh, not good smokers. I know that a lot of people will disagree with me because you do get cheap uh, pipes that do smoke very, very nice, but you need to find that one and it's maybe you know more a, a question of looking for it and finding it than, than comes naturally. Uh, and vice versa, you know, you, you, you can buy a Daniel for 8,000 Rand and, and find that it does not smoke that nice. So yeah, you do get those odd cases, but uh, generally th speaking, I can, I can say from my experience at least that uh, buying a, a medium value pipe uh, should, should be your first choice, not, not the cheapest that you can get. Um, so yeah, first step would be to buy a pipe. Now, I mean, you can go different different routes. This Savinelli, one pole, you know, would be probably something in about a uh, thousand rand, between ninety and hundred and ten dollars, brand new, maybe even more. Um, so one option would be to go on eBay and try and buy a, a, sta a state pipe. Um, what I would suggest, if you do go that route, is uh, search for good brand names, um, is, uh, Savinelli, Stanwell, Daniel you can also search but you won't get cheap ones, even estate ones. Estate is what we call second hand uh, pipes. Um, you can also search for K Woody's, uh, GBD, um, yeah, there's plenty of pipe, uh, you know, good pipe names out there so if you don't know exactly which ones, go and do a search and, and find good names. Any Danish pipe, uh, pipe would be uh, would be a good one uh, a good option um, and obviously Italian pipes also is, is very nice uh, yeah so so go on East by East, uh, eBay and, and, and see whether you can find one there second thing that you need to look at is whether there's flaws in the pipe or not um, unfortunately I didn't bring one here with a, which uh, you know with the floor where I can show you but sometimes there's these small fillings in uh, in your pipe and uh, you, it's not necessarily bad, but don't pay too much for one with fillings because fillings already gives you an indication that, uh, you know, that there was something added there. Um, so yeah, that, that, that would be something to look at. Uh, and then also look at the, uh, you know, how the pipe is, is advertised on eBay, uh, whether the stem is still fine and and cleaned and you know just a good look at, at, at your pipe also when you do see one that you like uh, do a search you know, go and have a look and see what people are saying about that specific pipe so just don't buy you know uh, before really checking and, and, and inspecting that pipe with uh, with a zoom view on, on eBay and making sure you, you get you get a proper pipe I've I've bought about uh, your probably eight or nine pipes over eBay and they all uh, turned out to be very very good uh, two that was not that good but the rest of them were excellent pipes this one for example I bought over the internet and it's uh, awesome and uh, this Bari Viking I just bought recently also and received it recently uh, also awesome pipe smokes very nice so you, you can you, you can get get good buys um, from from the internet uh, in terms of estate pipes. So yeah, first step would be go and, and buy yourself a pipe. If you haven't got a grandfather or father who's giving you one down down the generations, then you have you need to go and buy one. If you want to don't want to do the eBay route and you go to a shop, uh, again as I said, don't go for the cheapest pipe. Um, Look for something in the in the middle ground, something between I would say, fifty to ninety dollars, uh, five hundred, six hundred till about eight, nine hundred rand. Um, that that to me, uh, I think, would be not a bad bad choice. Uh, I've got some examples here. got a falcon cool way bent that's a very good option 
to buy for a for a starter pipe. I think this pipe would go for about uh, forty to fifty, max sixty dollars. I'm not sure uh, in America uh, what what they would go for, but um, uh, between you know, I don't think you would you would need to buy to pay more than sixty dollars for a Falcon like this one, which which I think is is not a bad bad choice. Um, and I've got another one here, which I know is very good pipes for starters. The Kaiser uh, Kaiser pipe range is um, <clears throat> they were specifically made for the South African market in in uh, in, in England in London, uh, and they were made to be very uh, you know rough. How can I uh, sturdy pipes? They can, they can, uh, they can withheld a lot of rough roughness and and uh, and rough treatment, so they they don't break break easily. There's a story going that one farmer drove with his tractor uh, over over a Kaiser and uh, just picked it up uh, and lighted it up again, and no problem. It's also got a nice uh, hygienic uh, system inside to catch the. You know the the, the uh, oils from the tobacco. So a Kaiser pipe is a very good option. They might be a little bit more expensive than the Falcons one, but the Kaiser will. This one, for example, I think would would start at about fifty to fifty dollars or so, um, and and you 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 will get a, a very very good pipe and give you a good experience. Um, there's plenty of people I know in South Africa who only have got Kaiser pipes and maybe only have one or two for the rest of their lives. Um, so, first step is to. To visit the tobacconist and buy yourself a pipe, uh, good value pipe. Um, look for one that, that that fits nice and that you enjoy taking into your hand because it's all about you know the whole experience. It's not just about getting some some smoke in your in your mouth or in your lungs. It's it's all about the experience. While you are at the at the tobacconist, and although it will be come later in my video. Uh, you might as well just make sure to give to get yourself uh, a pipe tool, um, little knife, and a tamping area. If you haven't got that for now, no problem. You will be able to get your tobacco out and in your pipe with other means and stamping it with uh, screwdrivers or nails or anything. But while you're at the tobacco, it's not a bad pro idea to, to, to buy yourself um, also one of these ta uh, tampers. So friends, uh, that is my, my first video in the series of uh, how, to, how to buy and how to smoke a pipe. Um, And um, the next one will be uh, packing your pipe, uh, how to pack it and then light it. Uh, and after that, I will talk a little bit about how I see the cake forming or layer, layer carbon layer forming of, uh, of your pipe. My tobacco is also nearly finished. I'm going to greet you and hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And. Uh, So on that note then, bye-bye and enjoy your Friday and weekend. Thank you.